Oh, got a bite. Oh, got a fish. Yeah, finally. All right. Oh, this looks like a beast. He's all dark. Oh, got a bite already, guys. Got one. Got one. I don't know what it is. Kind of seems like it's a bass. Can't even see where it's going. Glasses are fogged up. Well, hey, guys. Bill with Fishing with Odad. And yes, once again, we are fishing. And hopefully, we're going to be catching. Uh... Yeah, um, I have got to get on a topwater bite this year yet. I, I just haven't done it. Uh, I've tried a few times and nothing, 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 nothing. So, uh, maybe today. Maybe today will be a great occasion on this Tuesday to catch a topwater. So, f hey, guess what, guys? We're over 400. Uh, we're on our way to five. Uh, help me get there. Spread the word. I uh, got people in Vietnam, Korea, South Korea, a uh, bunch in the Philippines, and of course here in the great United States. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching. We'll be right back to you. Oh, and I forgot. Uh, yeah, my goal was to top water, but but I got out. My old panfish rod here that I've had for eons, and I kind of retired it. Uh, I don't know. Don't know really why. There's a few reasons, but um, I put some new line on it, some braided line, so maybe that'll make a difference. And we're going to try to use it to get on some of these honker uh, bull bluegill out of here. So we'll be right back to you. And guess what, guys? You guessed it. My Ozark Trail uh, froggy here. We're going to give it a shot. I want to get a topwater on this. Uh, and then we're going to try some whopper ploppers if this doesn't work. So, anyway. guys we uh, um, didn't do well on the, didn't get anything on the topwater frog so we're gonna do a bluegill colored uh, prop bait here the whopper plopper gonna try it Dead rig time. All right, guys. Gave up on the Ned rig too. Didn't even get a nibble on it. Uh, so we're gonna go with this little crankbait, little mini hopper. I think it's a replacement for that one I lost a long time ago. So we'll see how this does. We're going to go to the worm. Finally got our first fish, guys. A decent bass. Right there on the Ned rig. He hit it one other time and I didn't get it. Hooked well. Easy out. There we go. Number one. Nothing on the worm yet. Got something now, guys. Oh, got one. Got one. I don't know what it is. On the circle hook. Oh, big gill. Big gill. Yeah, big gill. Yeah. Oh, hook right in the corner of the mouth. Yeah.
Yeah, circle hook right in the corner of the mouth. All right. All right, let's go back out there. Okay, guys, got two fish. One a big gill and one a decent bass. So, uh, and the gill came on my little, little five foot quantum rod and reel setup. Yeah. Oh, out of sight. Got another one, guys. Oh, another nice one. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, come on. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, this one's even bigger. Guys, this one's even bigger. Look at this. These things are monsters. Guys, I'm really liking this circle hook setup. Yeah. Let's go back out there. Oh, got another one. Got another one. This one ain't quite as big as the others. Oh, Maybe I'm wrong. Just fat little fellers. Oh. Oh. Oh, look at the monsters. Look at these things. Oh, got another one. Man. Oh, this is fun on this little light setup. Oh. <laughs> they are just all big. I don't think I've ever fished for bluegill that are just this consistently big. Here's another one. They're all this big and bigger. Guys, I'm sure glad we had our main camera on because I got interrupted when I was getting set up and I didn't turn my head cam on or my chest cam and I missed all that with those big gills. But we're going to try to get some more. Oh, got a bite already, guys. Got one. Got one. I don't know what it is. Kind of seems like it's a bass. Can't even see where it's going. Glasses are fogged up. Man, it's everywhere. It's got to be a gill. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Another big and. <laughs> Another big gill, guys. Six and a half. Had that other one and I couldn't get it in, so there's six and a half. When you go, little fella. Oh, got another one. Oh, it's a bass this time. It's a little bass. Well, we got our first bass, guys. On the worm, anyway. Corner of the mouth. I, lo I love these. Sure glad. Thanks to my subscriber. Can't remember his name now. He said, try the circle hooks. Well, I done did. And I'm impressed. I tried a jig head for fishing for bluegills so I wouldn't gut hook them and I didn't like the way the worms stayed on the hook. They didn't stay on the hook, that's the problem. Every bluegill has been big. Oh, got another one. Got another one. Gotta get them out of the toolies. Oh, 
Oh, this looks like a beast. He's all dark. I think, or maybe I'm just imagining it. No, he's another big one though. Another. Guys, look at this. Look at these gills. Guys, this is just incredible. The big bluegill. I've never caught so many at one time this big. That's nine. Oh, no, 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 no. Get, 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 get. Come on, get, get. I'll move my rods in a second, Ken. Did you do any good? Yeah, I thought I got nine enormous bluegill. Yeah, I should fish I got this. Yeah. I could just see my camera going in the water. Yeah, <laughs> she really shocked me. It was like, you guys are over there and all of a sudden she's over here. Sorry, old little girl. Yeah. Or guy. Yeah, sorry, guy. Didn't mean to scare the liver out of you. <laughs> Plus, I didn't want her paws getting in a treble hook that's on one of my rods. So you use worm shell for the bluegill? Yeah, just a bob, just the old-fashioned bobber setup, and I'm just. I caught it. I caught two big ones here, and they're all big. I mean, they're all they're all this big around. And then I caught the others down there. Now I've caught them before on uh, curly tails and this little that little grasshopper crankbait. <clears throat> I've caught them on that and curly tails, but I haven't been able to do very well with that this year. So I've been using worms and just yeah, killing them. So, yes, thanks. Yeah, sounds, good sounds good. Kind of an experiment. We'll see. Yeah. And I'm sorry about yelling at your dog. Okay. <laughs> I saw he got in the water with you over there. <laughs> I thought when I heard you yelling, I thought, oh man, he's got a big one. And I looked up because I heard splashing, and uh, I look up and I go, oh, it's his dog. <laughs> yeah, have a good one. Well, after that scare with the dog, uh, we're back at it. Well, we're going to throw the Ned rig while that's sitting there. Okay. Let's throw the Ned rig. Oh, that just went under. Okay. Oh, little fighter. Man, a little fighter. Oh, what is it? What is it? I didn't even see it. Ah, oh, another big gill. Oh. 
Just oh, I hope you didn't swallow it. Oh, got another one. Got another one. Oh, they're little fighters. Oh, this one's a bass. This is a bass. A decent one, too. <laughs> a decent one, too. All right, there you go, little buddy. Oh, I guess I had one, or have one. That was really hard to tell what was going on there. I hope he didn't swallow it. Oh, this is fun on this. Nope, hooked just perfectly. Just perfectly. Yeah. Yeah, easy come, easy go. There you go, little fella. Oh, I wanted to get on the big gills. I sure did. Oh, got a bite. Oh, got a fish. Yeah, finally. All right. Got a fish, guys. Yeah, on the Ned Rig. Seems like a fairly decent one. That was a long range bomb down there to the Tuies. Eh, nah. And I'm down on my knees, guys. The wind's blowing so hard, I don't want my camera up any higher. So there you go. Thanks for being on the show, little buddy. Okay, got one. Got one. <laughs> okay, that's number three on the Ned Rig. A little fella, but I got him. Well, I haven't gone up here simply because of the wind. So let's see what happens. That's what happens. Got one. Got one. Don't think it's a very big one. But he's sure fighting. Oh, it's a bass. There you go, little friend. Oh, what a perfect send-off. Okay, here we go. Finally. Another nice big gill. Got another nice gill on here. First one for a little while of this size. I don't know, this makes like 12, 13 very big ones. I can't even hold them hardly in my hand. Incredible. There you go, little friend. Oh, got another one.
feeling some drag. What do I got? Another one. Another bluegill. Another monster. Guys, this is just can't believe what I am catching today on worms, especially the enormous bluegill. No, I don't, not even as a kid uh, do I remember catching this many big ones. Guys, I don't remember last time. I, there, I don't, there wasn't a time that I caught this many big bluegill at one time. Uh, just astounding. Uh, some are big, some are enormous. Especially for, for out here in the desert. Okay, got one. Another wonderful gill. Another one. And he's bleeding, but I have no idea why, because he was hooked in the corner of the mouth. But in you go. Guys, I think we're going to call it at 10. It's 9.44. Um, I accomplished one of two goals. One was to catch a topwater. That didn't work. The other one was to catch fish in my old panfish rod. That definitely worked. All right, got a few more minutes left, so we're gonna just fish right here. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna end well. Nope. Dang. Lost my best bobber. Well, you know what that means, don't you? That broke. That sheared my... Eh, it's only four pound test. But those sharp reeds. Oh, got one. Ho. Ho. Oh, what did he do? Oh, there he goes. Got in something down there. Finally got one on something other than a worm. On my little... My little froggy dude. Or grasshopper. Yeah. There you go, little friend. Oh, a backflip over the reed. Oh, got one. Holy moly. <laughs> oh, wow. There you go, little friend. All right, guys, we're going to call it. Yeah, I had a great morning. Um, I caught 90% of the fish on this little setup here. 98.99% on this little five foot ultralight uh, quantum. I don't know who makes quantum. I bought this years ago. 
Um, it was always my favorite panfish rod. And it's got a quantum reel. Uh, I really don't know who makes quantum. Don't know. But I actually have another quantum reel too that I just love. Um, still using it. It's one of my most disfavorite. But anyway, worm and a bobber caught enormous, enormous bluegill. I don't remember the last time that I, I there, there was no last time. There was no last time. Because uh, there never was a time that I caught this many enormous bluegill at one time. Uh, every one of them but two were, were very, very big. And one other one I would say was just big. Uh, two were small. Uh, and I used new circle hooks and I'm pretty impressed with it. I had three that still got gut hooked somehow. And I don't know. Now one, one's dead. Uh, the others may make it, the other two, but one died. It, um, my intention was not to have that happen with circle hooks, but they were so aggressive and just gulped it down, and I was right on them. So there was no, I didn't let them run for 20 minutes or anything like that. So anyway, uh, hey, you know what, guys? I really, really appreciate y'all watching. All my new subscribers all around the world. It's impressive. I just love it. Uh, I'm so thankful to the Lord that he's allowed me to do this and that he's, um, that I'm able to do this. Anyway, and we're over 400 and uh, my next goal is five. Um, I want to get to 670 that's what I said by the end of the year and let's let's make that sooner uh, let's hit a thousand by the end of the year that would be awesome uh, start making a little bit of change -o on these uh, that would be great so why don't we just say as we always do we'll see you next time out here on the water appreciate you watching grass carp down there. I don't know if it's dying or what, but it isn't scared of me. Oh, they finally swam away.